Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. <clears throat> Just pulled up in the parking lot of my job, but come on in. Um, amen. Let me get myself together. Uh, come on in. Got a quick word for you. How are you guys doing this morning? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We should be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. So get on up. Get on up. Put your smiley faces on. Amen. And um, let get, let's get this day started. Uh, so what came to me, amen, Delilah's Downloads, should have put that in the title. I'll go back and do that. Um, I try to make sure I'm trying to keep it separate now, just going live and going live with a word so um, people know what's happening. Um, but what came to me just coming in to work, um, I was listening to listen to the radio, K-Love, um, and um, one of the songs, I can't even tell you what song it was, but it mentioned the, the love of Jesus, the love of Jesus. Um, and the Holy Spirit put it on, put it on my heart really quickly. Was like, you know, Jesus loved you, but I'm like, but what no but to Jesus love me is there? Yeah, Jesus loves us, or Jesus loved us, and Jesus loves us, but it was His obedience. Come on with me, fam. It was His obedience that saved us, redeemed us. Right. It was God's grace, God's grace being Jesus. Right. That gave us a new law, a new covenant um, that gave us a bridge to the father um, that was not via the old law that that gave us that that freed us, um, freed us from um, the 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 situation that Adam put us in um, that gave us authority they gave us authority over the enemy enemy it wasn't jesus's love it was jesus's obedience that saved our lives and gave us authority and when i say that what i what i was coming from and i had to wait till i got to work because i needed to read and i couldn't do all it while driving but and and matthew um matthew 26 matthew 26 um, 39 where it reads in the NIV version going a little further he fell this is Jesus going a little further he fell with his face to the ground and prayed Jesus was praying to God my father if it is possible may this cup be taken from me yet not as I will but as you will so Jesus like I love these people and all but this thing here is hard. So, Father, if you can think about this thing just one more time and maybe not have me do this, then I would greatly appreciate it. But if that's not what you want done, then I stand obedient to your calling and that's what will be done. So check it out. Jesus loved us again, but it was his obedience that saved us and gave us authority over the enemy and why we walk in freedom today. So the question becomes, fam, are we obedient? Sometimes just like Jesus, we're called to do a thing that we really don't want to do. We really don't want to do. We don't want to talk to that person on the elevator and tell them and spread the gospel about God. We don't want to, when we're in a bad place, we don't necessarily want to give a shoulder to someone else because we're having a bad day ourselves. You know, we, we don't want to, you know, take the time to have disciples under us that we have to spend time mentoring and developing. We don't necessarily want to do that. But it's not about what we want to do. It's about what God has called us to do. And Jesus is the best example for that. Jesus is the best example for that because Jesus loved us. There was no doubt in the world. There's no doubt in our minds that Jesus loved us. But that question in itself, that prayer to the father that Jesus had in itself says, I love them, but dad, I really don't want to do this. But he was obedient to his father. So fam, are we obedient to our father? Or are we letting feelings and emotions and what we want to do interrupt the calling on God's on our life that God has placed on our life and interrupting the things that God is trying to do? So, fam, we need to be on our knees saying, Father, I don't necessarily want to do this, but if it's your will, I will be obedient. And parents, oh, parents, you know how we can be hypocrites sometimes. This is all of us, including me, right? We can be hypocrites sometimes because we're asking for our children to obey us. 
Woohoo! Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all know where this is going. We're asking for our children to obey us, but we're not obeying our father. What kind of example is that? If we're going to lead, we got to lead by actions, not by words. So we have to get this thing together, fam. It's not just what we want to do. It's what he's called us to do. Jesus didn't want to do it, but he did it. You don't want to do it, but you need to do it. I don't want to do it, but I need to do it. And why? Because there's salvation grace on the other side of my obedience for somebody else. Just like Jesus saved me and just like Jesus saved you, we are called to save others. And it is through our obedience to the call and the word of God that that will happen. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> in the name of Jesus, my obedient brother that went before the but went before the cross, not just because he loved me, but because he was obedient to his father. That's revelation. That's revelation, fam. In the name of Jesus. All right. So I love you guys. I love you guys. And but but you don't want me just to love you. You want me to be obedient to the word of God because that is what you will be blessed from. Not necessarily my love for you, but, be, but from because of my obedience to the Father will come blessings in the name of Jesus. I have to do my natural job, amen. And hopefully I sprinkle a little not hopefully sprinkle a little spiritual love, amen. Um and hope you're doing the same. Be obedient today, family. Uh and um until next time. I love you guys. Delilah's downloads. Saying what needs to be said from the lovely area of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Amen. Where the airport is located. Until next time, family, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.